Multiverses may have a joyously cartoony exterior, pitting characters like Bugs Bunny against Harley Quinn, but while it's easy to pick up, it can be tricky to master. Luckily, we've got our hands on it, so ahead of the open beta in July of this year on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S, here's some brand new gameplay and some tips and tricks to rule the multiversal playing field. In case you're wondering exactly what multiverse is, here are the quickfire basics. As you can no doubt see, it's a big old brawler that allows iconic characters from across the Warner Bros stable to duke it out. It's both crossplay and free to play. You can play 2 vs 2, 1v1 or 4 player free for all online. And many of these characters are voiced by their respective actors. Like Matthew Lillard as Shaggy. No mystery here, that's a victory! The legend Kevin Conroy voicing Batman. I am darkness. I am the night. I am Batman. And even Maisie Williams as Arya Stark. Where am I? Uh, what's up, Doug? Characters we have confirmed are Batman, Superman, Harlequin, Bugs Bunny, Taz, Tom and Jerry, Adventure Times, Finn, Jake the Dog, Shaggy, Velma, Arya Stark, Steven Universe, Garnet, the Iron Giant, and an original character named Rhine Dog. Whew. These characters slot into five different classes, Mage, Tank, Support, Assassin and Bruiser, all of whom have different approaches to fighting the good fight. Traversal and darting around the battlefield is extremely important in multiverses, mainly because it dictates if you lose or not. Should you fall off of one of the platforms or get blasted off into the sides, you lose, and the likelihood of that happening can be seen here. The higher those numbers are, the more susceptible you are to being thwacked into oblivion by, for instance, a giant mallet and unable to recover from your fall. Some attacks can also help with moving yourself and others around the map too. Wonder Woman's lasso whips allies and enemies alike to her, for instance. Arya Stark is also able to throw her dagger and then teleport to it too. But don't worry, we'll get to specific attacks and how to use them later on in the video. For now though, know this, the air is your friend in multiverses as you're able to navigate around it pretty quickly. Holding A gives you a higher initial jump, for instance, while double tapping gives you a double jump. Once airborne though, there's a variety of options for you, with air dodging and air attacks, which you can do two of each before falling again. Tip from the top though, a down and X attack on airborne enemies will send them plummeting down to the depths of defeat. Just be sure to time it right, or it could lead to a bit of embarrassment. The B button is the saviour that will get you out of the most bother in multiverses, as it's the dodge button. Tapping it means you avoid an enemy attack statically, or you can dodge while moving to dash through an attack. As one fictional dodgeball teacher once said, dodge, duck, dip, dive and dodge. Dodging can also be very handy while following up straight away with other actions. For instance, if you dodge and then jump, that jump will be higher and faster than usual. Dodge and then attack straight away, and that attack will have some of the invulnerability frames of the dodge, making it a bit safer. However, while it may be tempting to just press B and nothing else given the excellent publicity I've just given it, things aren't quite as simple as that. You see that bar underneath your character there that can deplete? That's your dodge meter. Once that's depleted, you don't get any invulnerability from dodging. Luckily, it comes back over time, or when you're hit, or you're hitting enemies, which in multiverses is pretty much always. Speaking of attacking, by the way, there are two buttons which will help you out here, and those are X and Y. X for basic attacks and Y for specials, both of which you can also do directionally and upwards. The shoulder buttons can also be used in their place if that makes you more comfortable. Some of these attacks can be charged by holding the button down. For instance, hold down Y with Velma and she'll sprint across the floor holding anybody who gets in her way. Depending on the character and the specific attack, these can build status effects which can be monitored above the enemy. Taz's attacks, for example, often involve food. Keep attacking 16 times in a row and your enemy will turn into a giant cooked chicken, yeah, chicken, for a brief period, dropping healing items when hit. Yummy? Arya Stark's Y attack is also pretty unique and useful as it allows her to steal her enemy's face, allowing her to turn into them and use their own attacks against them. Other moves will need cooldowns, so you'll have to wait to use it again. This can be seen in an icon underneath the character that fills back up again, meaning that you're ready to use it once more. There are ways to mitigate this though. For example, if you hold down X for Batman's Batarang attack, you can pick it up again to drastically decrease the cooldown so you can get lobbing it once more. 
But one thing you absolutely need to do in multiverses is to change it up and do various different attacks. This is for a variety of reasons. It's just more fun for one. And second, it keeps the enemy guessing. But should you do the same attack in a row again and again and again, four times in a row specifically, you'll experience attack decay. This means that your continued use of that attack will have nowhere near as much stunning effect as it once did, rendering it essentially a bit of a waste of time. Several characters like Wonder Woman are also blessed with attacks that grant armor, meaning they're essentially uninterruptible. You'll be able to tell this attack has armor due to this glow effect. Remember though, I just said essentially uninterruptible, because there is a way to break them down. Certain attacks have a purple hue around them, which means they can smash the armor away. These particular moves vary from character to character though, so experiment to find out which move you should have on standby just in case. As we said earlier, there are a couple of free-for-all and 1v1 modes, but in multiverses, there's a big emphasis on cooperative play as well with the 2v2 mode. It's important to consider how some of the characters can be used to buff and defend your allies too. For instance, Wonder Woman's down Y attack is actually a shield over her and a nearby ally. Aya Stark drops a pie when she successfully knocks someone off the arena that can be used to heal the team. Scooby-Doo's Velma is so far billed as one of the two support class characters, and that's for good reason, as she plays differently to almost every other character. Velma's Y move provides a motivational speech to heal allies, but her moves relate to different areas of, well, being smart, you know, using chemicals and calculus. These make characters drop clues, which then result in her being able to do a special down Y move to call the police and get an enemy carted away, stunning them. She is a very specialist character, but use her in the right way alongside a tank like Superman and they can wreck shop together. Multiverses is free to play, yes, but there are plenty of exciting items to unlock in its 50 tier battle pass. These include variant character skins like the interestingly named Uncle Shagworthy or Samurai Batman, as well as emotes, banners, profile icons, and special ring out FX to really taunt your fallen enemies. You can also unlock various collectibles through mastery levels with your character. These are determined by the amount of XP you get with them. So the more you play, the more you get with them. These range from cool additions like announcer packs with specially voiced lines from the character to perks. Perks can be equipped at the start of the match and can give you a number of buffs, like increasing projectile speed or even blocking a certain percentage of damage completely. It's just like the old saying goes, practice makes perks. Okay, quite a lot to get through, but there you have it, a gameplay preview of Multiverses, along with some of the finest tips and tricks to help you bag those wins when it has the open beta on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S in July. Which character are you going to main? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for more updates on the latest Xbox games from Xbox On. Bye for now.